This is Alex Harris for ESPL Boxing. Pleasure to be joined by Super Mario Silva today. And Mario, after a uh, very impressive stoppage victory, how are we feeling? I'm feeling great. I love the atmosphere. Thank you for Barnsley fan. Thank you for Boxer for presenting me this opportunity to show what I'm capable of and that I, I belong in this sport. Indeed, and I mean, you're in against a guy who's had a lot of experience, hasn't been stopped by many people, and you put out a really nice stoppage, to be honest. It was a beautiful body shot, and in general, is that what you're aiming to do in front of the big crowd? I wasn't aiming for the stoppage. We had a game plan that we were working on, and it just managed to happen, the stoppage, so our game plan persevered and, and came through. Indeed, and I suppose, you know, now, you know, I've followed your career for a bit now, and I've seen you've been progressing on the small hill kind of shows, and... Do you feel like you were now deserving this opportunity to fight on the big card? Well, I've always felt in my heart that I deserve it to be here. I've always felt like I've never been one that's just participating. I've been here because I belong in this sport. I belong around the big names, around the big TV. I belong here because that's what I'm capable of. That's what I work in day in, day night to, to gain. So now that I've got the opportunity, I just want to keep showing boxers, show Sky Sports, show the people, especially the people back home in Manchester, that I'm the new hope. I'm the new people, that, the person that people can look up to, to know that you can chase, you can get whatever you want. That's why my slogan is D4G. Everyone can achieve what they want, when they want, they just got to put their mind to it. And I've put my mind to it and I've achieved what I want and I'm going to keep proving myself until I get my recognition. No, it's, a, it's a brilliant kind of message to give out and I suppose Manchester boxing as a whole, maybe perhaps they are calling out for one big name to step up and do you feel like that could be you? Uh, I don't really feel like calling any names because everyone's a stepping stone. If anyone's at middleweight, everyone's a target. So what's more important for me is progressing as a fighter, progressing with my skills, my talent, my ring IQ. And eventually when time's right, boxers, Sky Sports and my management team will provide me with the right fight at the right time. And when did you find out that you were you know, going to be on this show and you had the interest from boxer? Uh, I, had the, I got told by my management team uh, in June that we'll get put on the card and I was full of excitement. I thought, this is my opportunity. I made sure I was twice as much in the gym. I went from training from January till June once in the gym. I, I basically slept at the gym, making sure that I'm not missing no hours, that every aspect of my game is getting covered. So shout out to me and my dad, Paulino De Silva, for working on it and for him for believing me, my team at the gym for working so hard, my people back in Manchester for supporting me and believing that I can get here. And now I'm showing them that they were right by staying behind me. And before the fight, it seemed like you gave a Muhammad Ali type message. And do you feel like you, you know, lived up to that expectation maybe you put upon yourself? Most definitely because no one knows about me. Before, before this fight, no one knew about me. So I thought, what's the best way to catch people's attention? Use one of the greatest of all time, Muhammad Ali. So when I used that, I knew what I was doing. I put a high risk, low reward with I have to bring a beautiful performance. And I shine under the lights and I make sure I perform. So it made me feel comfortable knowing that people are expect, expecting a great fight. So I had to make sure that I put on a great fight. So there was not much pressure. It was just I go out there, have fun, do what I do best, don't force it, and it paid off. As a prospect, do you feel like you have to be able to you know, make yourself a brand and to be able to make sure you are in entertaining fights for the fans? Most definitely because people come to fights because they want to get their money's worth, they want to be entertained, they work so hard day in, day out to pay for their bills, to work hard, to provide food for their children, to get about in their life. So it's only right that any time they decide to put money towards watching boxing, especially Sky Sports Boxing, that I make sure they're getting their money's worth and they can remember these fights, remember these nights, such as today in Oakal Stadium with Callum Smith uh, topping off the bill with Zach Chelly. Indeed, and I suppose you know, yourself, when you're seeing these big events and, you know, Callum Simpson coming to Barnsley Football Ground, I'm sure that's a, a dream he's had since he's been a kid. Is there any kind of dream, I suppose, venues or anything like that you've always had? There's two main. The first one is to fight in Manchester Manchester Stadium, so the Old Trafford. It'd be an absolute dream of mine to fight there. Locally, bring boxing back to Manchester. Like I said in past interviews, I will be the next Anthony Crawl, the next Ricky Out, and shout out to them for being some legends especially from Manchester Legends to come out of Manchester in the boxing sport. So I aspire to fight in Manchester United ground just so I can bring the boxing back to where it deserves to be and Times Square where boxing originated from New York. 
Indeed, and uh, just one final one from me, I suppose, message-wise for your support, and I don't know how, I suppose, big of a, a fan base you have yet, but the building fan base, the growing fan base, what would you like to say to them? I'd like to say thank you guys for coming and supporting me. Thank you for believing in me. And like I say, I'm not D4G. When I say D4G, we're all D4G. We're all destined for greatness. When I shine, you shine. When you shine, we all shine. So the more you progress with me, the more I progress, the more we all shine. We're going to change the world one fire at a time, stepping up, and we're going to make a difference. Mario, great message, and thank you very much, man. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you.